Okay, DJI, before we get into talking about the Air 2S, can we get a firmware update so we can wear this thing with the Air 2S? Because I would love to fly with this. Th like, I love this thing. What's up y'all, Trainer Toll here. The Air 2S, I've had the thing for about a week now. When I got my first drone, my first drone was the Mavic Mini. I don't know what your first drone was, but this little guy, he folds out, like you can put him in your pocket, super convenient, super fun. Like I bought this and you can see like some scuffs on him. I bought him because I knew I was going to crash. And I mean crash. To be fair, I owned the FPV for like five seconds before I landed it in a tree, but that was a landing. The DJI Air 2S. I'm loving this thing. We took it up to Austin. You guys have seen the clips. I had a ton of fun. The one inch sensor, that was the big selling point for me, okay? I picked up the DJI FPV drone and I have a lot of fun with that, but it does not have a three axis gimbal. So from a cinematic, you know, capturing the best shot, having the best range and, the, and all the different motions for a cinematic shot. The FPV can do a lot of things that the Mavic Air 2S cannot do, or the DJI Air 2S. You notice that they dropped like the Mavic name from other marketing. I still call it the Mavic Air 2 because people still put that into Google for keywords, but I guess it's technically the DJI Air 2S. It's not a Mavic, anyway, I don't know what that means. That was my big like dilemma, right? Do I buy the FPV? because it's cool, because it's got the goggles, because it goes really fast, like is the camera good? And I, I know that there are a lot of things that you can do, like if you guys have seen the bowling alley shot or, or like the movie theater shot, there's a lot of really cool things that uh, filmmakers are making with the FPV and, and uh, I've seen some like, uh, like uh, vacation destination videos and stuff like that. Look, it all looks really, really cool. Um, and so I, I, the goal is to do that kind of thing, however, um, it is only a two axis gimbal. It goes up and down. So it cannot rotate as the drone rotates to maintain uh, the, that, that horizon line, right? And so that to me was a big concern. It was like, okay, I, I need to get a, a drone that can also do the three axis tricks. And that's where I added the Air 2S to the kit. If you're just starting out, I don't recommend getting an expensive drone. I, the Air 2S starts at $9.99, but that, does all, that only includes one battery. That doesn't include a case. That doesn't include DJI Refresh. Get the DJ, like what the f are you thinking? I say to myself a year ago when I bought the Mavic Mini and didn't buy the DJI Refresh. Get the DJI Refresh. Like it's only $39 on the Mavic Mini. Like just get the insurance. It protects it for a year. They're very understanding. They're like, oh, you crashed it where? We believe you. Here's another one. Um, generally they want you to send some remnants of the drone back that survived whatever catastrophe happened. But for me, I knew I was going to crash. So I started out with the Mavic Mini, okay? And if you are just starting out, I don't recommend spending a ton of money until you are a competent pilot. They do have a really cool app that allows you to fly uh, the FPV in a simulator environment, which is really cool. I own the FPV and I still fly in the simulator like 10 times more than I actually fly the FPV because I'm trying to get really good at some of the maneuvers and I'd like to get better at some of the tricks. And if I'm gonna be able to do some of those trick shots going through buildings and going through ruins and stuff like that, like I really need to get really good so that I'm not going at the last minute like bumping into stuff. Like I crash in the simulator all the time, which is much cheaper than crashing the actual drone. The Air 2S being just better than the Mini in every way, except for the price. Um, I'm gonna sell this one to DJI. This is my Mavic Mini 1. I, I, I may get a Mavic Mini 2, but I think honestly, uh, I'm gonna get two Air 2S's as my fleet so that if something happens and one goes down, I have two of the same lens, right? Generally, when you talk to, you know, people say that, but then like I shoot a bunch of stuff on the GoPro, like that, that uh, the Vortex under my cabinet video, which I adore. Most of that was shot on this GoPro and then I mix it up with stuff on the camera. Like 
I don't know. The pros will tell you not to jump around to different lenses. So uh, I'm gonna shoot with two Air 2Ss so that I've got the same lens in the event that one something happens to one or the other, right? But uh, you know, if, if you add a, a Air 2S and then maybe a Mavic Mini 2 as just like a backup drone, uh, because the Mavic Mini 2 also shoots in 4K, like you totally have that option. But for me, uh, I'm gonna sell this one back I've crashed it enough times that I don't know that it's as reliable as it used to be. And I just don't trust selling it to somebody. Like, I don't want to be that guy. I'm like, hey, here's 300, give me 300 bucks. And then like they have it for a week and it is in a tree or something funky happened because I crashed it one too many times. I'll just, I'll feel much better if DJI refreshes it and, and gets it out to somebody new because I did not buy the insurance. So it has come to that time. We tuck its wings in one last time and we say goodbye, we retire the Mavic Mini. I'm curious to know, what was your first drone? Did you go with an expensive drone? Did you crash it? Have you not purchased a drone yet? What is it that you're intending to purchase as your first drone? Super, super curious. Let me know here in the comments. Comments are always super active. If this is your first video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and ring the bell so you never miss any of my videos, and I will see you next time. All right, little Mavic Mini. I hope you find a new home. <laughs>